American English American English Teach and learn American English Hi and welcome to Teaching Tips from American English. These short professional development videos share current practical knowledge and classroom ideas for EFL teachers around the globe. In this teaching tip topic, Ryan Brooks will examine the benefits of sharing with others within a professional context and some specific ways teachers can help each other by sharing their knowledge and expertise. Welcome, Ryan. Hello. I want to welcome you to today's presentation. Today we'll be talking about sharing as a tool for professional development. My name is Ryan Brooks and it is a pleasure to be with you today. So let's take a look at our goals for the day. Feel free to pause the video here if you'd like to read them more carefully. To begin with, let's think about how we have shared knowledge with others. Within the last month, have you shared knowledge in a professional context? In other words, have you shared ideas and information with another colleague or group of colleagues? Take a look at this diagram and you will see one of the first of many benefits of sharing, and that is retention of information. As you can see at the bottom of the pyramid, you will see that in teaching and sharing knowledge with others, you retain and remember about 90% of the information. Compare that with listening to a lecture, and you'll see just how important sharing information is to your own learning. Along with retaining information, here are some other benefits of sharing. In sharing, it challenges your own thinking. It improves your communication of ideas. It encourages others to share. It inspires leadership. And it contributes to sustainability. Now just a note on sustainability here. In this context, we simply mean that good teaching practices continue to exist. Realize that good practices can only continue to sustain if we are sharing information with a new generation of teachers. On this note, let us pretend for a moment. Let's say you share information with three people, and then those three people take that information and share it with three others at their school. Look at it. It's 12 people who have acquired new information just from you. As you can see, when we share, that multiplier effect is great. Now that we see the benefits of sharing, let's take a look at some examples of how and what other teachers around the world are doing to share. As we go through, identify some of the activities that might work for you in your professional setting. How could they be adapted? Take some notes. Think about it. Do you have any ideas that you could share? So we'll start in Uruguay. At secondary school number two in Uruguay, teachers incorporate thematic planning to teach students about community gardening. The unit integrates language with other content areas like physics, math, art, geography, and biology. During the unit, students are brought to a nearby community garden where they can then apply that knowledge and learn the values of cooperation, equality, and hard work. What about tactile-based learning? Have you done it? At Orchard Grammar School in Pakistan, the teachers give students the opportunity to physically interact with objects in the real world in order to understand how they work. In the picture, you can see a learning station set up entirely dedicated to wildlife and village life. Students from a young age group are brought here and interact with these objects, often created by teachers, and they leave having a better understanding of the material and content. Do you want to teach your students about culture through the English language? At the Bacau County Teacher Training Center in Romania, the teachers utilize materials from the American Corner to introduce and engage students in a discussion around American culture. Resources at the center give students the opportunity to discuss issues related to women's struggle for equality, the universal right to vote, democracy and human rights in the U.S., freedom of speech, freedom of religion, the list goes on and on. Can you think of some other interesting cultural topics that you could introduce in your classes? At Slovenko Arsov School in Macedonia, the teacher wants to make learning culture a fun experience. He utilizes funny videos from popular culture from YouTube to emphasize specific language points. 
students then complete exercises using that language point in a specific context. Most of your students probably have a cell phone, right? Well, take advantage of it. At Central Boliviano Americano, teachers utilize Quizlet, an online platform that allows teachers different options in creating quizzes. It's a great tool to help teachers continually assess their students. Think Facebook is the only way that students can network with others from around the world? In Indonesia, students use Club Kui Chat Messenger, an online messaging system that allows students to interact through avatars that represent themselves virtually. And in Belarus, students exchange communication with students of their own age from the USA using the platform ePals. Remember, learning a language extends way beyond the classroom walls. At Kior Madiabel High School in Senegal, the teacher designs communicative vocabulary activities which support classroom instruction and expand upon students' learning. As you can see in this unit, the teacher gets students to think about the issues of smoking through writing, researching, and completing projects. Interested in sharing your experiences with the rest of the world? At the Alianza Binational Center in Bolivia, an audiovisual production studio, yes, that's a green room, offers staff, students, and visitors a chance to utilize the latest video and sound equipment in order to record class skits, educational podcasts, informational videos, interviews, theater spots, and more, all in English. Can you believe they now have 152,000 videos uploaded on their YouTube channel? Our last example comes from the Binational Center in Tarapoto, Peru, where teachers develop their expertise in a specialized area and have presented this information at national and international conferences. So to reveal, how can you share what you have learned? Well, first and foremost, apply that new information to your own teaching. Bring it to your classroom. You may also present at local and regional conferences, presenting a workshop, or presenting a poster presentation. Heck, you could even host your own conference. You can also participate in a webinar. Attend department meetings and share the information with other colleagues. Another consideration, publishing. Truly, the possibilities for sharing are endless. A note for leaders in the area of education. It's time that we build an educational culture that promotes sharing. To do this, you can identify teachers who colleagues can go to for help and who can get resources. You can provide teachers with opportunities to gain expertise. You could also allot specific time in the school schedule for open forums, demonstrations, small group planning, and sharing sessions. So we've seen the benefits of sharing. We've seen some examples of sharing in action. So to conclude, a challenge for you. Within the next month, will you promise to share something that you have learned? Once again, I'd like to thank you for viewing today's presentation. It was a lot of fun. And I'd like to thank those of you who shared. As we move forward, I hope you too will be inspired to share the information that you have learned. To check out other great teaching tip videos, be sure to subscribe to our American English YouTube channel. You can find resources for teachers on the American English website by clicking on the link listed here. And if you haven't already, be sure to like us on the American English for Educators Facebook page.